Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 23rd, 24th, and 25th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Libra season is officially here. Now, Libra season started actually the 22nd um, in the evening for Eastern Standard Time. So let me tell you what that would be. That would have been the 22nd... Where are you the 22nd? At 9.04 p.m. Again, that is Eastern Standard Time. So you want to uh, correct for whatever time zone you're in. At the same time, the autumn equinox began at this day. So this is when... So the 23rd is going to be the official start, you know, where, where it's fully Libra, fully the, you know, with the autumn equinox. This is also a time when the veil between our world and the other world, the physical world and the metaphysical world, starts to thin. So we could have some very strange occurrences. We could have some unusual happenings. And this kind of lasts through October. This goes to, like I said before, All Hallows Eve. Now, we do have a new moon on Libra. It is in Libra, and it will be on the 25th, and that will also be at 5.54 Eastern Standard Time. So this weekend has some different vibes. It has a little bit interesting, or in, more interesting vibes. Uh, there's you know a little bit more talk about this weekend, so we will see what we will see. The thing about this weekend is, remember, whatever goes on in the world, we still have to live our lives. We are star seeds, we are light workers, and we need to make sure that we keep our vibrations very, very high so we can help others keep their vibrations high too. Okay, now anyway, you know that when I am working on the weekend, when I'm doing the weekend readings, I am using my Radley Valentine angel cards. I will use my John Holland psychic tarot and oracle cards. I will also use my Angels of Abundance with Doreen and Grant Virtue, and I will pull one from Emily Anderson Crystal Deck. Now, for this part of the readings, and if you've just if you're new here and you've never watched before, this is the introduction, and I will be tagging this onto all of the videos. If you want to see, if you want to go straight to your video, or if you cross watch, then go down here to the um, into the description, and I'll have put a link in there. I'll put a timestamp where you can bypass this. I hope you'll watch at least one time. But so for this video, I will be using in the beginning, this will be more the universal energies, what's going on overall. I will use my weight rider, traditional tarot, and my Colette Baron Reed, the good tarot. I will get her name straight one day. Anyway, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Like I said, I've talked to you. The weekend has had some interesting energies. That Libra new moon. And a, a new moon is a time of a new start. And it is a time, it is a, even though we are in Mercury retrograde, we still have six planets that are retrograde right now. Um, so they are kind of pushing back. Jupiter and Saturn will start going direct in October. So we're coming to a slowdown with their energies a little bit. So, you know, again, interesting times that we live. What is the old, uh, the old proverb, curse, blessing? May you live in interesting times. So... I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power. My job is just to deliver the message. Try not to get too much in the way of it. So let's see. Higher power. What's going on in the world this, this weekend? What do we need to know for the world? What do we need to know? How do we get, how do we get ready for this weekend? What are the energies like for the world? Or what does the universe want to tell us? Here we go. Glasses help because I can't see without them. Here we are. Okay. Remember, anything that is reversed has a little more um, energy to it. It's a little stronger. Um, also, too, all court cards have dual energy. So a page will have the underlying energy will be earth energy, will be pentacle energy. That's Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy, money, job, career. 
uh, Capricorn and Taurus are very strong. There is, um, Venus is in Virgo right now. I think it's doing something around these uh, dates also. So we do have a lot of that Earth energy. Now, Knight's underlying energy will be the fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Money, I'm sorry, this is very passionate, this is very burning, this is very committed energy. Whether it be right or wrong, it is committed. Um, you know, the only thing really is Jupiter, which is in Aries, and like I said, I think it's around the 8th of October, don't quote me on that, that, Air, that Jupiter will stop going retro. So it is slowing down quite a bit right now. Then we have the queen, which is water energy. That's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid, emotional. That's our cups. And then we come to the king. Underlying energy is air or swords. And that is our Aquarius, our Libra, and our Gemini. All of those energies have something going on. It's your thought processes. It's your intellect. It's your thinking things through. It could also be about hearing news. And yes, we have a lot of things and, uh, you know, Saturn is in Aquarius for a little bit longer, and it will be going direct. I think it goes direct towards the end of October, maybe the 28th. For some reason, I get those eights in my mind. Um, and so it is slowing down. We have Mars that's in Gemini right now. It is going direct. But we also have Mercury in Libra, which is retrograde. So let's see what we have here for this weekend, Universal Energy. Okay, well, isn't that one an interesting one? <laughs> we have the tower. We have the tower. It is also reversed. So like I said, it's a strong message, strong energy for us. The tower is a 16. Numbers have meaning. You know, you can use them for dark magic. You can use them for light magic. You can use them for good. You can use them for bad. We use the good. We endow them with the positive energies. So 16. This is a 1 and a 6. 1 is a new beginning. It's a 10 plus 6, which is transition. 6 is the number of man. It's the energies you put into something. Add it together, it becomes 1 plus 6 is a 7, and that's a divine number. That is a divine, um, you know, divine guidance, divine umbrella, you know, something that watches over us. It's also a divine intervention. It could be a divine interference. So it's kind of like, I didn't want to go that way, but for some reason I had to. So we have the tower card. The tower is where everything seems to collapse around us. The tower is where we tend to think, what are we going to do? That, you know, this is that time that we're just like, I, I you know, hey, I, I thought I was doing everything I was supposed to do because we ju we're just coming from the double energy where we're we, there was fear and we're like moving on and we're like, okay, you know what, we're facing what we have to face. And then we come to the tower and we're like, whoa, is this what we had to come, you know, is this what I had to face where everything seems to fall down? The thing about the tower is it means that, yes, while everything seems to be collapsing, it really is getting ready for a rebuilding. So the tower is not supposed to scare you. It is more to make you aware, and it's more to make you aware of the rebuilding that is to come. Okay, so we do have that first card, which is that tower. Okay, let's see what this one says now. Oh, okay, so now we have the eight, again, Those that eight, eight of pentacles. Now, eight is unlimited opportunity, unlimited possibilities. Pentacles is... Um, money, you know, is the earth energy, your money, job, career. Now, the thing about this is it's it's really saying a lot, of, okay, the seven of pentacles, which this is not, this is the next one over, says you are preparing. The eight of pentacles is saying you are prepared, you're ready. Things are not, you know, things are not going to take you by surprise. You know, again, this has money energy to it. This is creating money. This is moving into money. This is also being acknowledged as someone who does have money. So there is a money energy here. There is opportunity here. There is more to come, more to come with this energy here too. So we have that. Interesting with that. Next card is, okay, now we come to a seven. Again, reversed. This is seven. Remember, divine umbrella, divine um, oversight. This is the seven of rods or wands, which is fire energy. Again, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, determined. And this is really hold, hold the line. Hold your, hold your place. Don't give in. in. Don't give up. This is, again, you know, you can see, we don't see the people 
We don't see whoever is down here. We don't know what is down here, but we see that he is standing on the higher ground and he is basically defending his position. So whatever this is, you know, so here, this is the one that's kind of the, the scarier energy, but it means, but this is really, every, it has to clear. It's kind of like that, um, you know, that energy when, you know, after you've had a really good um, rainstorm and it just, the wind has been howling and howling and then once it's all done, you know, there might be some cleanup after it. This kind of, but yet at the same time, you can look out and you can see that, um, you know, the grass is growing and that there's very, that there's positive uh, cleanliness, cleaning going on with this tower card. But then again, this has a lot of, you know, you've been prepared, you're ready. Um, you know, this is that moving on from the Seven of Pentacles where it's like, get to work. There is more to come for you. There is more opportunity for you. But then we have the Seven again that says, hold your position. Don't give in. Don't give up. So interesting for this weekend. We will see what we will see, especially since we have that that equinox. If I, you know, the equinox going on, the thinning of the veil. And we have that new moon in Libra too. So let's see. Let's see what... Colette Baron reed has to say for this weekend, or what her cards have to say. Higher power. Let's ask higher power. What, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for this weekend? What else do we need to know? And again, whatever this is all about, you know, just don't, have, don't worry. You know, just live your life. Live your life and live it with integrity and live it with light. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. Oh, well, that's an, I love the fool. I love the fool. The fool is a zero energy. That's a God source energy. The fool is a have faith, um, is, is that leap of faith. This is a, you know, it's, it's, it's almost that new beginning. It's that I don't understand what's going on in the world or I don't understand what's happening. I just know that everything's going to be okay. And I just know I have to go where I have to go. I have to go where, you know, God, Source, um, Gaia, whoever that is to you, you know, leads me. So we have an interest, and this is Major Arcana, this is Major Arcana. Again, um, you know, these two are what we can be doing. These two have more of a universal energy to it, as in, you know, the divine energy that's happening. Um, but the fool is always believe in yourself, have faith, believe that there is something greater out there, and we get through whatever it is we need to get through. Okay? Interesting energies. Interesting stuff. I'm going to then ask you now. We're going to get to the reading. So I just be prepared for that. But if you could go down to over here. Over there. And if you could like, share, subscribe. And click on the bell for notifications. You really help me out by doing that. And you keep me on air. So I want to thank you. And let's start our readings now. Hello, my Scorpios, and how are my sweethearts doing? Well, I'm feeling like your well, your time is about here. We've got one, you know, one astrological sign, and then it is your time. Your time is here. Your time is near. I'm kind of getting both of those in my brain right now coming through. Uh, at the same time, with that, the uh, Libra season is a good time for you to get a lot of things done kind of like, um, you know, when you're going on vacation and you want to make sure that, you know, your house is clean, your beds are made, new sheets, all of the stuff that you need so that when you come home, you don't feel like you're just overwhelmed with everything you haven't done. So it's kind of like a getting ready type of energy here. So, you know, just really just, you know, just like I said, your time is here, your time is near, okay? Whatever that should be meaning to you. Okay, let's see what we have here for my Scorpios. One, two, and three. Three cards face down. The first one is reversed. So let's see what we've got here. First card is the Eight of Earth. Well, this is the Eight of Pentacles. And that was the one that was in the overview, in the introduction, okay? So eight is unlimited opportunities, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo energy. I do feel like that Venus in Virgo has something very positive for you. Um, maybe there's going to be some, you know, love in the home life type of energy with that. I do feel that has a very strong and positive aspect for you. 
Um, you know, we have, you know, I said um, Capricorn, Capricorn, Pluto, which is, which is connected very strongly with Scorpio, is slowing down. And it will be going direct when it gets into your, you know, when your sign comes. And that's where a lot of things that have been um, taken, you know, maybe taken apart, get rebuilt again. Okay, so the Eight of Earth is about... A lot of the things that you've been doing, a lot of the efforts you've been giving, a lot of what you have been putting out there, there's this is going to be acknowledged, especially this weekend, okay? This has, again, I will read it, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. So there is some additional training that you need to know. Now, this could be about, I mean, this could be work. This does definitely have a work vibe to it. But it can be something with your intimate relationships, too. It's learning about somebody else. It's learning how to cooperate. It's learning how to deal with someone else, too. Again, you know, so there is a learning, there's a learning curve with this, okay? So you need to either embrace that or you decide no, and then things don't necessarily work out the way you wanted them to. But this one is, you know, unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. That Earth, Earth energy has really strong, positive aspects for you. Something to do with Virgo, Venus and Virgo is popping in my mind too. And I think that that could be a very positive thing for my Scorpios. Venus, you know, goddess of love, um, beauty, also creation too. So that, that could also be something that uh, works well for you. Okay, let's see what we have here. Next card, the five of fire. Well, now we have the conflict. Now we have the changes, okay? Five is about change, positive or negative. Fire energy is our Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Aries has Jupiter, um, you know, retrograde, slowing down. So there is a little bit of a, it's not a pause per se, but it's actually a chance, it's actually an opportunity to really make use of that positive energy, okay, that's in Aries right now. You know, Jupiter is the planet of largesse, is a planet of good fortune. However, the five of fire, so whatever this is all about, there's obstacles that get in the way. Nothing you can't deal with, but they just are just kind of like, oh, come on, I thought I dealt with that already. What? Is this coming up again? Why can't things just go smoothly for a change? This is kind of that internal talk that we all have with higher power, source, Gaia, whoever that is for you, you know, um, spirit guides. You know, it's just kind of like, come on, why does this have to happen? You know, I, you know, it's another thing. It's another block in my road. It's another challenge that I have to get through. However, my Scorpios, it's not insurmountable. It's definitely a challenge you can get through. So take some breaths. Don't let the fire energy, um, you know, just, you know, send you blazing. Don't get, you know, don't, don't let that happen. You know, get, get deep, get deep in your, um, you know, in your heart, your talk, self-talk, and just get to work and get things done, okay? Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. That's the thing you want to watch out for, the conflict with others, because you've got a lot that is very positive for you right now. And if you're putting your thoughts and your energies into the into kind of like, oh, that person, that person, it'll take away from this. And again, this is where I'm getting that Venus in Virgo energy from. You know, love, home. Anyway, next card is the Ace of Earth. So now we have that Earth energy again. We have an eight, five, one, one, five, eight. Aces are ones, new beginning, new starts. Things are happening. Things are positive. This is a lucky day. This is dreams coming true. This is abundance. This is like all these things are there for you to reach out and just pick, pick off the tree. Again, this is the only thing that I, watch your temper, watch your temper this weekend, okay? Because you've got a really, really positive energy here. Watch your temper. This has, this has, you know, be, be wise, okay? Just be wise and don't let your mouth rule you too much. I'm kind of getting the, that you're just going to kind of like want to just jump in and the earth energy is telling you not to do that right now, okay? And again, this is abundance. This is good stuff. This is dreams, wishes, things like that um, being fulfilled. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, 
important documents or contracts. So if there are some, remember we are in uh, Mercury uh, retrograde, so you may want to make sure that you're, um, you know, have somebody look at those documents and contracts. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. What else, higher power? What else, God source, do you want to give to our, or do you want to tell our Scorpios? So yeah, I mean, good, like the only thing is this one, and like I said, watch the conflicts. Watch the conflicts, okay? Light. This is the sun energy. This is the sun major arcana. We have a one, again, one new beginning, a 10 transition, and then a nine. Nine is, let's wrap it up, you have everything you need. There is there is light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know, the, the rainbow shines brightly. The sun shines brightly. This has things work out well for you. Again, the only thing I'm going to tell you is watch your temper. Um, you know, just stay, you know, just kind of, t you know, count. Count to 10 if you have to. But this is a positive energy. This is letting the light shine on you. You know, the light is also something that's very um, cleansing. The sun is very cleansing, and this is what the sun energy is all about. We have this twinkling in the light. We have, you know, again, this has lots of positivity for you. Um, you can make, you know, you you know, this is being seen, being shown the light all of a sudden, and it's like, ah, I get it, I get it. Um, and this is for reaching for things that maybe you have not been want, maybe you have not reached out for. Okay, good energy, positive energy with the light, with the sun. Okay, major arcana energy. Again, the only thing I'm going to tell you is that five of fire. Watch your temper this weekend. Watch your temper, my Scorpios. You, you know, just a, a, a moment, you know, it's like, you know, moment on the lips. I know that's when you're eating, but moment on the lips, forever on your hips. No, but a moment, you know, words said cannot be unsaid. Okay. So let's see what we have here, especially when you've got all this earth energy around you and you've got this major arcana energy here showing you the light. Good stuff for my Scorpios. Anyway, let's see what the angels of abundance have for my Scorpios. Here we go. Unlimited ideas. Okay, I don't know that you can read this. We'll try. Your mind is one with God's infinite mind. Therefore, you have complete access to unlimited ideas guaranteed to bring blessings. All you need to do is to, is to take divinely guided action to allow these ideas to come to fruition. And if you're letting anger in, you're not going to be divinely guided. <laughs> okay? So divinely, divinely guided action allows these ideas to come in i love that i love that let's let's that's that's the first time i think i've seen that one anyway unlimited ideas that goes along with this that goes along with this even with this too the eight of earth okay let's see what crystal or energy we have for our scorpios what would be helpful for you to carry wear around your neck keep at your bedside let's see Amber. Amber. I do, do I have my amber around here? I don't see it. Harmony, home protection, calm, attracts love. That's a good one to have. Especially, I do feel, I did feel like that Venus, that Venus in Virgo. And that's a love, that's a love energy for your home. Okay. My Scorpios, tell me what this means to you. Hope it means something. Um, take a moment, please, to comment, to like, share, subscribe, click on that bell for notifications. As always, my Scorpios, most importantly, know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.